this. Now, this is the powerful flexor of the elbows. Whenever you're gonna ask which muscle is most important flexor, is brachialis, the flexor of the arm, all right? Proximal attachment, distal half of the anterior surface, the humor, basically from distal to really focus on the elbow, all right? On the elbow. And the distal attachment is coronoid process and tuberosity of ulnar. So right down, right down. Now remember, when we talk about the biceps, and we, we mentioned that before, the distal attachment is tuberosity of the radius. Remember, the, the tuberosity of the radius is not right in the center. Okay, it's like the median until to the side. So when you have a muscle attached to the side there, when they tight, they can rotate the radius. They rotate the radius, supernate radius, that's why. All right, now, for brachialis, they directly attach to the owner, owner side, all right, the tuberosity. Tuberosity of the owner, direct on that. There is no rotation. Everything, every force is used for flex the elbow, okay, flex the elbow. The action. Major flexures of the forearm. Remember, major, major flexure of biceps is not the major one. All right, remember. Flexes forearm in all positions. That means it doesn't matter which position, they always okay, activate it. Innervation, muscular cutaneous because anterior compartment symbol. Okay, C5, C6. Arterial supply, muscular branches of the brachial artery again, recovering the radial artery. It's basically right there. Thank you.